So one of the core ideas about what I teach is the idea of acceleration. You are traveling in life at a certain speed, evolving. I'm, I'm pretty sure that most of you are going to be keep on evolving in, on your journey. But imagine that right now you could just accelerate instead of spending two or three years searching on a certain topic of trying to explore or trying to navigate a certain maybe challenge in your relationship or, or challenge inside of you or limiting belief or a victimization pattern or something like that, then imagine that we could take your situation right now and accelerate your evolution by giving you very specific shortcuts. So sometimes asking for help and asking for feedback or reflection from another source, this is exactly what your system needs. And um, you know, you don't have to figure out everything by yourself. The, the help is available and uh, it doesn't mean you become weaker by asking for an input from another source. If you ask me for help, then I'm going to give you tools to accelerate your life. This is my intention. This is one of my core intentions. And what I can tell you is that it is a smart move to look for help because there is no point keep on suffering and keep on, uh, you know, hurting yourself and banging your, your head against the wall if you have been searching for solutions for a long time and you don't have a system in place to figure this out. The reason why I have these solutions is because I have been researching this stuff for many, many, <laughs> many years. Okay, I have been exploring these topics and took uh, sometimes a long, long time to figure out certain things. For instance, when it comes to uh, shadow mastery, I have been actively, really, I mean, actively researching this topic for the last 10 years since I've been in Bali, mainly since I have been in Bali, but of course it has been uh, a lifelong exploration. But since I've been here in Bali over the last 10 years, for instance, the topics of shadow mastery and vital shadows and how to master the shadows that are being projected in our fields, uh, whether it is in relationships or in business, so in social situations, how to navigate all that, it took me a long, long time to figure out the strategies. And of course, I've been searching for help. I've been trying to get the feedback and reflection from my friends or from other people. So that all that has been, um, you know, a profound exploration, a profound testing ground in my life to figure out the things that work the best. And uh, what I can tell you is that right now, I am not perfect, of course, you know, I'm a human being, I still have flaws and I still sometimes suffer from situations, I still uh, encounter challenges that I, I go like, I don't have a solution right now for that. But what I, I notice is that the solutions are being accelerated in my field way, way faster. When I have a challenge that comes into my field and I go to uh, rest in the evening and my mind is like trapped into this situation where I go like, fuck, I don't have really a solution for this specific uh, challenge. Then I start researching and training my mind and testing my mind. And then in the middle of the night, suddenly I start having insights. And then I wake up in the morning with a very clear solution. And the solution very often is not uh, a mental decision. It's not a mental pattern. It's not even a thought or it's more like a feeling or something that gets unlocked in my emotional system that is very often connected with a very specific mindset. Like for instance, an, a mindset that I can give you or a, a victorious mindset that has worked really well for me when you are in a challenge, when I'm in a challenge situation with a challenge, I say thank you for the challenge. Thank, thank you for exposing me to, this, to a situation that I don't have a solution with right now. Why? Because being exposed to that situation is going to allow me to expand myself and navigate and, and explore and accelerate my life in that specific area because my mind and my system is going to start searching for a solution. So for instance, this pattern of gratitude when you have a challenge that hits you, thank you for the challenge. <laughs> you know, It doesn't mean that it's always easy, but that's a pattern that can very often unlock. And so what happens when you do that, it is like there is some form of grace or there is some form of response that comes up because you understand that that this challenge in your life has a very specific uh, role to play in your evolution so that's one specific mind trick but I will send I will give you more um, more possible tricks and examples of how this works on a practical level